I may have read this whole book in one day. As you are hopefully aware by now, this Sunday is our monthly book club with the word nerds, and this month we have chosen Across the Universe by Beth Revis. I just read this book at the end of last week, in one day as I mentioned earlier, and I love it. I can't believe I didn't read it sooner. As the title and the look of the cover probably imply, it is a sci-fi, a young adult sci-fi. Quick summary of the book, Across the Universe is the story of Amy and Elder. Amy comes from Earth, and her and her parents, along with some other people, are frozen for 300 years, and when they wake up, they're going to be on a new planet, and they're going to settle that new planet. Elder is the future leader of the people who are living on the ship and keeping it running while Amy and her people are asleep. And the story really gets going when Amy gets woken up 50 years before they land, and it draws them into this whole mystery of figuring out who woke her up, who is trying to wake up other frozen passengers, and why, and what secrets the current leader is keeping from everyone. What made me like this book so much? For one thing, I think that Beth Revis did a great job with her attention to detail in her world building, something that we just talked about a couple of weeks ago in our live chat. You could tell that she put a lot of thought into what the society and the technology and the culture would be like after a few hundred years of being isolated aboard this ship. I also am a big fan of stories that have lots of surprises, that have characters who are keeping secrets and telling lies, and that is a huge part of this story. The back cover says, what does it take to survive aboard a spaceship fueled by lies? So right from the beginning I knew it was going to be a good book for me. I'll be honest that I figured out who the bad guy was pretty early on in the story, but there were still lots of little surprises for me. I was shocked by something that's revealed at the very end of the story, I didn't see it coming at all. And I love just trying to figure out everyone's motives and why they were telling the lies they were telling and what the truth was, and it was a really cool read because of that. The dual POV in this book was also done really well, two different characters narrated. There were only a couple of times when I had to flip back to the beginning of the chapter to remember who was narrating, but for the most part I could really tell the different characters apart, which is a hard thing to do. And I loved all of the main characters, I thought they were all really interesting, they all had their different motives and the different things they wanted, and you could see how each of them felt like they were the hero of their own story. You could tell that each character really did feel that they were doing the right thing, none of them were being malicious or evil or bad just to be bad. And I think that's really realistic for real people, so I love that Beth Revis did that with her characters. So basically, if you have not read Across the Universe yet, go out and get yourself a copy. I read it in one day, so you can read it quickly too and have it done in time for this Sunday's chat, because we would love to have as many of you as possible there to discuss this great book with us. And I will see you guys this Sunday at 7.30 Eastern Time as always!